what is up YouTube that's it here and today I'm bringing you guys another VGC 26 team going up against Maximo today you can see that he has Raichu Yveltal which is actually one of my favorite weeds right now I really like the way Yveltal works and this guy just knows how to use it going with Raichu Yveltal using the potential use of Lightning Rod to protect his Yveltal from those super effective electric attacks He's also going to be using Kyogre, which also synergizes with Raichu, and then uh, potential Mega Salamence to sweep any other Pokemon up. This guy is a super cool team, and uh, we're going to do our best to deal with it with uh, Gengar, uh, Yveltal, Primal Groudon, and Mega Mawile. I do like using Gengar, and I think I'm using a Life Orb on this game, but we're just going to hop right in this one, get right into it, and... Uh, Hopefully show off how well Mawile does against things like Salamence, against things like Yveltal. This is going to be like a Mawile highlight reel, I think, if I remember this replay correctly. So I'm leading Gengar Yveltal, and right off the bat, I do think his lead totally beats mine. We both have Yveltal, obviously, but he has punch for fake outs with Raichu, and he also has punch for Encores if I want to protect. I open up with a Sludge Bomb up on his Raichu. Luckily for me, I get the poison. That's super lucky, I mean... That happens to me so often. You would not believe it how often I get the poison with Sludge Bomb. It's ridiculous. And he opts to go with a Nuzzle with Raichu. Gonna do a little bit of damage. Also uh, goes for the Para. So it's super good move. 100% chance Para. As he goes for a Dark Pulse on my uh, Gengar. I thought he was going to Tailwind. Uh, I guess he figured he just didn't need it. I will be going for the Tailwind though. And it kind of sucks that I'm Tailwinding with a Paralyzed Yveltal. But uh, I, I don't know. This, that's definitely a wasted turn. And while... We do trade Pokemon, and I got a Tailwind up. It, I'm definitely the one that is behind, because I'm not going to be able to capitalize with a Mawile, and he, I have a Paralyzed Yveltal there. Now, he's going to be coming with his Salamence here. I don't think Salamence was a good play, because first of all, he would be intimidating. The only thing he knew he was going to be intimidating was my Yveltal. And, I mean, now he has two Pokemon that just can't do anything against Mawile. It's pretty ridiculous. But he, we will both be going Mega, remember, two Intimidates happened, and I do feel like I got the better end of the deal this turn. My board this turn looks a lot better than it did last turn, that's for sure. So we're both going to be going Mega, and Salamence is one of those Pokemon that can do almost anything. It can be like a physical, it can be special, it can be mixed, we know it's super fast. But uh, I definitely was not expecting an Earthquake. Intimidated Salamence Earthquake, how often do you see Earthquake on Mega Salamence? It's just literally going to tickle my Mawile. It does almost no damage. And then a Heat Wave from Yveltal. I know it got that, but I was not expecting that one either. This guy threw me for a loop. Mawile is going to live, it, and it's completely thanks to the Intimidate from the Salamence here. We go for a Play, uh, play Rough, picking up the one-hit KO on my opponent's uh, Yveltal there. And uh, I'm going to go for an Oblivion Wing. I thought he was going to do some t sort of damage to my Yveltal. Just sort of... Retaliate a little bit against this guy's Salamence. I guess he did Heat Wave me. I took some damage. Go back up to almost full HP. That was a definitely a good turn for me. So he's going to come up with his uh, Kyogre here. Kyogre is going to go Mega. Activate that... Uh, I almost said Desolate Sea. Desolate Sea. I don't think that's what it's called. But anyways, Kyogre is going to hit the board. And uh, I'm feeling like I could probably pick up a Kale on that Salamence with a Sucker Punch because it's boosted by Yveltal's Dark Aura. We're going to see the Kyogre go for the Protect, which is a very good scenario for me. I do not want to eat a Water Spout if I don't have to. And I go for the Sucker Punch, hoping I'm going to get the KO. But his Intimidate saved him just like uh, my Intimidate saved me last turn. And remember, Mega Salamence gains a huge uh, boost to its defensive stat when it Mega Evolves. So... It makes sense that the Salamence has saved that turn, and uh, remember his Kyogre protected, so the Earthquake is going to be able to kill my Mawile. Unfortunately, unfortunately, my Yveltal is paralyzed, so I have to sit that turn out. As we come in with Groudon here, Groudon being sent out at the perfect time to seal this Kyogre here, but the game isn't completely won yet. Even though Kyogre can't really make uh, any water-type attacks anymore, Ice Beam still does a good amount of damage. It just does... A ton of damage to Sweeper Groudon and a ton of damage to a Pokemon like Yveltal, who is weak to Ice Attacks. So he's going to go for a Protect with his Salamence, blocks my Fire Punch, it's a very good play there, and he goes for a Calm Mind with his Kyogre. Oh my gosh, Calm Mind Kyogre. And now these, now, like, it's it's pretty real, because Calm Mind Kyogre can do so much damage with Ice Beam, it's pretty ridiculous. As I go for a Dark Pulse, that is a critical hit Dark Pulse that's going to go through his Calm Mind boost. And uh, I have to play defensive here. Going to have to block everything that I can try and block from Groudon. And I just eat a double edge. And I'm really happy that he went for the double edge. Because remember, he is intimidated. 
and he is going to go down to that recoil. I guess he didn't want to Earthquake his Kyogre, and I don't know what his other moves are, but it's going to activate my Citrus Berry, and I, I tend to alternate between Citrus Berry and Weakness Policy. I think this game, if I had the Weakness Policy on Yveltal, I just would have won, because remember, first turn, he nuzzled me. This game would have been over so long ago, I think, but uh, anyway, Citrus Berry isn't enough to save me as I go down to an Ice Beam. We're down to our last two Pokemon, and I'm going to eat the Ice Beam. I actually live. He doesn't crit, and I retaliate with a Precipus Blades. I hit him back, and uh, I end up winning the game. It's a really close game, and just weird sets from this guy. You know, Call Mine Kyogre. Earthquake Mega Salamence and uh, Heat Wave Yveltal, as well as Nuzzle on Raichu. This guy has just a couple weird moves thrown into all of his sets. So, pretty cool battle. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really cool seeing Intimidate save both of our Pokemon on each side. So, correct use Intimidate from both players. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.